y'all see me? Can y'all see me? <laughs> we stylish round here. We stylish round here. We stylish. Okay, so welcome to my channel. My name's Lani Good. If you've never been to my channel, then you bugging. Um, if you're like coming back to my channel, because I've got what I've got 400 and something subscribers. Oh my god, I love all of you 400 day ones. But yeah, um, if you're returning, then I just want to say welcome back. And a bitch, a bitch is proud and a bitch is happy that you've returned to the channel. I can't lie, can't lie. But anyway, let's get right into this video. Like, we're here to talk some shit. So, like, I'm a bit late, a couple weeks late. You know, don't, you know, don't, don't, don't be too angry at me. Don't judge me. But I just want to weigh in real quick, real quick about the stuff I've been hearing about the Katrashians, aka the Kardashians. Um, so like I saw all that stuff with Jordan Woods and how they were just, you know, like going in on her because, you know, she kissed Khloe Kardashian's man or baby father. And I just wanna say this real quick. I don't condone what she did. What she did was wrong. Let's get that. Let's, let's, let's get that out of the way first. But I do want to say, people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Do you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Katrashians, I don't really feel like you've got a leg to stand on. I don't really feel like you're out, you can be out here judging other women for stealing your man or sleeping with your man or kissing your man. But that's all you do. All you do is steal other women's to love the women's men. So let's let's um take a trip down memory lane, shall we? And see if Auntie Lani is chatting shit, if she's chatting mess, or she's stating facts. Because I'm gonna start with exhibit A. Exhibit A, Kardashians. Let's talk about the OG Kim Kardashian. Let's write it all down because I forget stuff. Let's talk about Kim Kardashian herself, the OG. Kim. I saw you and Malika singing, don't mess with my man, don't, um, get your own man, you know, don't mess with my man, I'm a bit the one and break it to ya. You were singing that song in the car, weren't you, auntie? You were, weren't you? That's, that's kind of funny, auntie, because um, when you were dating Kanye, oh, that's what I thought, right, I swear he was with Amber Rose. Mm, it's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. It's interesting that you are a hypocrite. You're telling someone to do something, but where's the energy when it's you doing it? All right then. I just think you should shut your mouth, princess, all right? So that's what she was saying, yeah? About singing that song, Get Your Own Man, but you know, you were sleeping with Kanye when he was with Amber Rose. So really, you should shut the hell up. And then in addition to that, then we move on. Oh yeah, Amber Rose called her a homewreck and all of that. And I've, I've heard, I'm not sure if this is facts, but I heard that Amber Rose and Reggie Bush dated um, as revenge because she went and effed Reggie Bush just to, like, to get one up. And in addition to that, when she was having sex with Kanye, she wasn't single herself. They were both in relationships. She was married. I, I think it was over a very long period of time, but there was one point where she was married to um, Chris Humphreys. And yeah, she, obviously she didn't love him, so she was still sleeping, she was sleeping with Kanye. Calm, whatever, we move on. So just Kim, shut the hell up, you know what I'm saying? Homework number one. Now, exhibit two. We're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about Kylie Jenner. Now let me just say, I rate Kylie Jenner. She's a rich bitch, she's a businesswoman. So to be honest, you know, I have rate, I rate, I rate her, but at the same time, she didn't say too much, you know, about her brethren, so we're not going to annihilate her in this video. We're not going to annihilate her. But, you know, Kim Kardashian was friends with um, Black China. Black China was engaged, fam. Like, I didn't even realize she was engaged. Black China was engaged to Tiger. And um, they obviously broke up, their relationship didn't work out. And her sister, Kylie, starts dating her brethren's ex-fiance. Now imagine, you are engaged to a brother and your brethren's sister starts dating him. Now you might be like, it's not that deep. 
She's not family, she's your friend. Or she's your friend's sister. Isn't that the same energy as Jordan? Jordan ain't family. Jordan's a friend of the family. So if we are allowed to sleep with, with if you're allowed to sleep with women and men who are, who are not directly linked to the family, basically if the rule only applies for sisters and your friends can do what they like, your friends can sleep with your man or sleep with her man, then what are you talking about with Jordan? I don't get it. It was okay when Kylie slept with your brethren's guy. It was cool, yeah? But now that Jordan's doing it, it's not okay, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, right? That makes a lot of sense, guys. You know what I'm saying? You know? I'm struggling to follow the rules here. Because if I was in your squad, I, w I would be a bit confused with what you lot allow. What do you lot allow? Let's keep it pushing. Number, t num exhibit two. We're still on Kylie, yeah? Kylie was friends with a uh, with a with a uh, very beautiful black lady called Justin Sky. In whatever two thousand and something, Justin Sky was rumored to be dating the one and only Travis Scott. Who is Kylie got a baby with? Travis Scott. So hold on, like. Oh, hold on. Apparently, um, Justin Sky was like best mates with her sister, Kylie's sister, Kendall. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was really close to her. And they even did like a campaign for like um, the Kylie cosmetics and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, she went and she, she took her man. So, it's really interesting, isn't it? I'm seeing a pattern here, girls. I'm seeing a pattern here, girls. So then we move on, we move on, because, you know, I'm not going to give that one too much energy. But we move on, and the next person I want to talk about, I'm trying to build up to Chloe. Because, like, Chloe, you're the one that's going to get the heat, bitch. Like, you are. Because, like, you just talk a lot of shit, and I'm not going to lie, I just think that you're a big hoe, okay? And there's nothing wrong with being a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Women in 2019, we can do what we want. We can own our bodies. We can do what we want. So there ain't nothing wrong as long as, you know, you every decision you make you're proud of and you use protection, you can be a hoe. But baby girl, baby girl, you're a hoe and you're a hypocrite and you chat shit. So you're trash. So we're going to, we're, we're coming, we're coming to Chloe. But before we get to Chloe, I just need to talk about Malika. Yeah? Malika. Malika is trash. Malika dates. Like, basically, if a, if a dude's married, it don't mean nothing to her. It doesn't mean I can't date you. What does that mean? You know what I mean? Oh, you're married? Bothered. You know what I mean? You're married? You can still be in bay if you're married. Of course you can. Being married doesn't change a damn thing in Malika's um, eyes. The first girl, Malika, the first guy uh, Malika dated that was married was this guy called Adrian Wilson. In England, we don't know who Adrian. Well, let, let me. He's a sports guy, obviously. I don't know who he is personally, but um, maybe some people know him. I personally don't know him. I don't think the majority of people in England know him. But the point I'm trying to make is, she dated a guy called Adrian Wilson. Adrian Wilson was married. Okay. Cool. 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 So a woman called Alicia Wilson. Um. Who? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, oh! This is the juicy one. And then Malika dated this other married guy who ended up dying. Um, I don't know how he died, but um, his, his name was Chinks. When when he died, she wrote some stuff on her Instagram. Like obviously she was sad, so she wrote some stuff. And you know, people came for her because they were like. You were seeing this guy, but he was fully married, so you're fully trash. And Malika, you are. Malika, you are trash. You're trash, girl. You're trash. Birds of a feather definitely flock together in this case because you're best friends with Khloe Kardashian. So this is what you lot do. You sleep with married men. You don't care if a, if, if a girl's with a guy. That doesn't mean he's off limits. As far as you're concerned, he's limits to you. You can still date him. That's what you lot are saying. Okay, so now we've I've like built her up and built her up and we're finally at the number one biggest contraction of them all. Chloe Kardashian. Okay, Chloe Kardashian. You used to be my favorite Kardashian, but the way you carry on, you have just, you must not love yourself. And I feel 
a little bit terrible bullying you and saying all this shit about you um, because I feel like you have no self-worth and you don't love yourself but then at the same time Chloe you're trying to annihilate a girl who's done the same shit you've done if anyone should understand where she's coming from and why she she might have behaved a bit drunk or made stupid decisions you should can I just say one of the things that's bothered me the most about Chloe before we go into the Jordan thing is Chloe Chloe am I chatting shit or did you not share a guy or go for go and shag a guy that had shagged your sister i have two sisters i ain't trying to shag any guys i've shagged my sisters i think that's disgusting i feel like you are gross i made something wrong with your brain why do you want to sleep with a guy that slept with your sister okay i don't want to offend anybody because if you slept with your sister's man then don't think i'm calling you names but at the same time all i'm saying is if you're not the most correct person you don't go around judging everybody else you should be humble and keep your mouth shut and you should be humble and just be a nice person and let people make their own decisions you don't need to be judgmental chloe kardashian you don't need to say horrible things chloe kardashian you don't need to be a stupid heifer chloe kardashian just shut the fuck up okay Whew, i'm sorry so you know like Chloe apparently slept with um, the game and so did Kim Kardashian, they both slept with the game. I mean that's gross, where do they do that at? Like where do they do that at? It's gross. Where, where do they do that at? Like you lot really can't find some, some new niggas that ain't like fuck the whole sister crew, like it's gross. Like Chloe you have no self respect. Sorry boo, I know I sound harsh but you know what, it's not too late boo. You're still young, you're still pretty. You can change and you can be a better person. You and Malika can be better people. Why don't you drop Malika out, in fact? Because she's trash. Moving on. So we're on Chloe now. What has she done that's out of order? Chloe, when you got with your bae, your husband's... Husband? Sorry, baby father. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Your baby father, he was in a full-on relationship with a lady called Jordan in 2016 when you got with Trist Tristan Tom Thompson, he was with a woman, right? So you stole him away from this um, young lady and the worst part of it all, the worst, most scandalous part of it all, Chloe K, is that she was pregnant, wasn't she? You know, that's, that's a little bit peak. That's a little bit out of order. I feel like that's a little bit, a little bit more out of order than what Jordan done to you. If I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. Look, uh, is there more about Chloe on this list of mine? whatever oh almost forgot i'm jumping i'm jumping i'm jumping um chloe and trey songs um trey songs was initially doing a thing with uh lauren london and lauren london was chloe's friend and you know what i just want to say this Hollywood is very incestuous, so people do like exchange people, they sleep with each other. But if you're very close to somebody, they should be off limits, like their spouses and their booze. However, if you're not that close to somebody, then does it matter? Not really. You can't, you can't be like, oh, don't go next to all these people just because you're cool with someone. So, I will say in Kylie's defence, yeah, in Kylie's defence, um... How close really was she to Justin Sky? Was it just a business relationship? Maybe they weren't homegirls like that. However, the reason I know that Chloe and Lauren London were homegirls is she put Lauren London in her wedding. So it just makes me think, did you, so you put her in your wedding, like you, you was that for TV or were you really friends? Because she went on her Instagram and was like, we don't like fake bitches or some Um. We just want to say that we hate fake bitches. All of them. Yeah. Um. So it does, it makes me think, like, was that for TV or was she really your people? Like, was she really your brethren? And if she was really your brethren, then you're foul. You're foul, sister. Oh, God, sorry, I'm sorry with my accent. Allow me. Anyway, guys, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed ranting. I enjoyed being a bitch. I actually did. That was fun. So I'm really happy that like I just let it all out about how I felt about the Kardashians. If I was harsh, let me know in the comments below. You know, I don't feel like I was that harsh with Kylie. 
Kim, yes, because Kim, you're a bit far, but you're married to the man, so maybe you guys had this undeniable chemistry. So Kim, you know, you're, you know, you're, you were a bit trash, but you know, we can let that one slide. You know, you're with the love of your life. But then also, you know, you're you're out here like really like going on on Jordan. I, d I don't really believe that that was correct behaviour, Kim Kardashian. Um, Kylie, you know, you're bad, you're a bit foul, but whatever. You know, you're foul, but yeah, you're a bitch. Like, whatever, we'll keep him pushing. Chloe, like, Chloe, like, really, girl, taking a guy with a whole kid away. I mean, fine, whatever. Maybe he's the love of your life, he's so irresistible. You lot, the passion and the fire between you two is so incredible. It's so intense. Oh my god, like, you lot are gonna get married. I get it. But if it's not that that's what it is, but maybe that's how you felt it was. Because I remember you used to have this quote about the, uh, your, your, lo your love being so, you wanna uh, love so deep that the ocean is jealous. So maybe you felt, felt like you found that love with Tristan. But at the same time, it still doesn't take away from the fact that what you did was wrong. And it doesn't take away from the fact that people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. So that's all I'm saying for the Kardashians. I'm going to round this video up. If you'd like to give it a big thumbs up, I'm probably going to get a lot of backlash. People can give it a thumbs down. But I haven't said anything that's a lie. I don't really think I should get any backlash. I feel like you lot should be like, Guan. Like, Guan. Like we rep you're representing so i don't want i don't think i should get any backlash point blank and to the effing mother effing period uh, i'm sorry I'm so what's wrong with me what's wrong with me okay cool okay guys so um thanks for watching this video i hope you liked it if you didn't like it write some stuff down there if you did like it write some stuff down there what however you feel write some stuff down there do you know what I'm saying? Um, and no, nah, I want to see y'all. I want to see y'all watch my other videos because I've got so many other videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and all that, all that jazz. And I'll see you next time. Ay, ay, ay. Bye.